Hello and what is up guys, my name is Pixel Polish and welcome to the show where I'll be going through the latest releases and announcements from the ever-growing PlayStation Vita world. As usual, there's a lot to talk about, so let's see what's going on in Vita news for Saturday, 2nd of May 2015. Hypnotic Twin Stick Shooter Ultratron will blast its way to PlayStation Vita this month. Inspired by a timeless classic Robotron 2084, Ultratron is yet another curved digital entry to the Vita library. The story here is simple, humans have been wiped out by evil killer robots and as last remaining humanoid battle droid it's your job to avenge them. The game features some slick retro futuristic style and music, tight controls, player responsive difficulty and subtle system of tactics. Ultratron garnered 92% positive rating on Steam, which is not a small feat. The game will be released on May 12th in North America and on the following day in Europe, for a modest price of $10 or your original equivalent. Amazon UK might have leaked a release date for the highly anticipated visual novel Stein's Gate. According to the updated product page, the game will be released in Europe on May 22nd, 2015. Now, this isn't an official announcement for the game release date and there is no way to confirm it until the publisher decides to do it, so you should probably remain cautiously optimistic. When we'll get a solid confirmation in the coming weeks, I will definitely let you know, so stay calm and keep your eyes on the channel. A highly regarded tactical strategy simulation Breach and Clear is finally making its way to PlayStation Vita. Often described as a hybrid of XCOM and Rainbow Six, Breach and Clear is a deep strategy game featuring realistic tactical combat developed with the help from members of Special Operation Forces community. The game also features multiple real-world special operations teams, thousands gun combinations, perks, camo, armor and inventory, all of which you can customize to your liking. The game has received very positive ratings across all platforms it was released on, so expect it to be one of the best tactical games on the Vita. Breach and Clear is not so clear when it comes to the release date, but it should be out in a couple of weeks. Do you like drum and bass, rhythm games and shmups? Then look no further than Cosmophony. Originally released on Wii U and mobiles, Cosmophony will drop sick beats on the Vita this month. There is a story in this game, something about a fallen goddess in a dying universe, but most importantly it's a rhythm action game where you blast and dodge your way to victory to the fat beats provided by DJ Salaryman. Minimalistic and abstract graphics of Cosmophony would lend themselves perfectly as a music visualizer and funnily enough, on top of the practice and normal modes, you can also try listening mode which lets you just listen to the music and enjoy the visuals. The game will be out on May 5th in North America and on the following day in Europe for a low low price of 5 bucks. Remember Wipeout? That amazing PlayStation exclusive anti-gravity racing game known for its insane challenge, beautiful track design and heart-pounding soundtrack made by the best musicians from across the globe? Yeah, the same franchise that was mercilessly and stupidly killed by Sony after they have shut down Sony Liverpool Studio. Currently known as R8 Games, the same dev team is working hard on a spiritual successor to Wipeout called Formula Fusion and they have recently launched a Kickstarter campaign for the game. No matter if the crowdfunding campaign will be successful or not, Formula Fusion will find its way to PCs one way or another. However, there's still a chance that the game will be released on PlayStation Vita as well if the final stretch goal of this campaign will be met. If you want the new Wipeout on PlayStation Vita, I urge you to do what I did and back the game. You will find the link in the description below. In March, PS Plus subscribers across the world got Outworld new and tasty as a part of Instant Game Collection but for PlayStation 4 only despite the game being a cross by bundle. Surprisingly enough, after hearing feedbacks from the fans, Just Add Water announced that they are changing their decision and all PS Plus members who claim their PS4 copy in March will be able to download the game to their PS3s and PlayStation Vitas free of charge. You can already download your PS3 copy of the game, but we will obviously have to wait for the Vita version to be released in the first place to be able to get it. So thank you Just Add Water, thank you for being awesome. Speaking of PlayStation Plus, it's that time of the month again, so here's the free games lineup for May 2015. Yet again, the games lineup is identical across all western regions and the first game on the list is an adventure title, The Unfinished Swan. Next up, we have possibly the quirkiest exploration game ever, Hohokum. Third game on the list is the solar-powered indie experiment, Raise the Sun. And last but not least, we've got the PS Vita exclusive cute yet twisted Murasaki Baby. 
As usual, next batch of PlayStation Plus freebies in a month. And that concludes this week's Invita News. You'll find links to the websites and trailers concerning today's topics in the video description below. Before you go, please check out my other videos by clicking on one of the thumbnails that you can see on the screen right now. Thank you for watching, liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Pixel Polish, out! Thank you.